Hey guys, welcome back. This is a ser to the series no one actually watches. <laughs> I'm guessing because no one asked. All right, this lift should take us out of here. Now it might take a while, so get comfy, everyone. Hey, Rouse, you know Lancer's dad, the king? Yes. When we meet him, you think we'll have to hurt him? Susie? I mean, I could easily smash him, but you guys know that's not really our th your thing. Do more about, uh, groveling like total losers. And I was thinking, maybe I could do that too? Susie? Susie? You mean you want to try acting? Uh, well, Susie. We'd be happy if you acted with us. Don't worry, we'll be there to help you. You won't have to figure it out by yourself. Sure, alright. Hey, Ralsei. Susie? Are you still gonna make those cakes? Well, will you stop making fun of me? Well, if I have to, I guess. Then I'll make you as many as you like, alright? Yeah. Like, you can make that many, dude. Well, this is our stop. Hey, Chris, wait a sec. You know I'm starting to realize... It'll be easier for us to get out of here if we all get along a little more. So next time we fight an enemy, if you tell him, if you tell me what to do, I'll listen to you. But you know, don't tell me anything stupid, or I'll go back to smashing heads. All right, Chris. I'm counting on you, okay? Susie, join the party for real. I did make this series without anyone asking, so maybe why no one actually watches this series at all. You yeah, told Susie to compliment the enemy. Uh, are you serious? What good can I say about someone trying to kill us? Uh, Susie, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish you'd had somewhat say to you? Are you on Ben and from Free Ham Sandwich Day? <laughs> I'm the Diamond Judge. I'm the Diamond Cutter here, bro. Oh, man. Okay, that. Wow first one's a little fast. It's like, I don't know why anyone even doesn't watch these videos. It's similar to Undertale. But yeah, your outfit is not disgusting. <laughs> oh man, Susie's cold. So the wor so the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Uh, Who's there? Yeah, <laughs> Faust rules. I am rules car. You're the greatest adversary. Thou may have cloudest past of Faust underest 
Hanan House. But Faust are created out of weaklings. Now, prepare yourself for the strongest puzzle of puzzle of Faust's life. Toil Worms. God damn it. Alright, there we go. You ordered Susie a flirt with the enemy. And hell no. <laughs> Ah, oh, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up! That's not the problem! Are you sure? Alright, look, wise guy. I'll show you. Watch this. Ahem. So, uh... Come here often! <laughs> and be <he> filmed out! <laughs> hey, get back! Here, let me flirt with you. I'll say spirit happy, but its name wasn't yellow! It just ran awkwardly. Went away awkwardly. Oh, oh. Look, Susie, this is how you flirt. This is how you flirt. Flirted with head happy. Flirted with head half happy. It was highly effective. What the? There, now you try. You ordered Susie a float with the enemy. Hell not! Let's see Rousey do it. I suppose if I that can't be out. Effie, your beauty is just transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall of weight. Um, do you have hair? Effie felt awkward and left. Oh, oh dear, wait. <coughs> That's so easy. Man, who knew? Both of y'all were terrible at flirting. Good lord. <laughs> Those guys really think that it was all I had? Wrong it! It's time for you to feel my real power ahead. Behold, my ultimate puzzle. How about you? Ah. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Gullible worms. That wasn't really my ultimate puzzle. I have a way better one right here. Can we see it? No! <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Alright, there's NPCs in here. <laughs> I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of DPS, Dancing Party Soundtrack. There's Clover. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet, huh, <laughs> which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? Then we can all play twisters, sit. Just stay out of your way. We lose even by ourselves. Hathi is the second party member. It's the healer. She was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake was commissioned. The tree commission was destroyed in a field somewhere. It's a tree! It's a boombox of playing clubs music. It's a giant baseball for parties. <laughs> oh man. Bicycle is literally tucked into bed. Is 
shop. Yeah, Rule's car is a shop. Enough, worms! Thou well, may have cheated it uh, through mind puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare it for battle with. The same one from earlier. Whatever this is! Huh? It's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. It looks the same. Yes, with my control crown, it may control any disc-shaped life form. Oh no, it looks like it's in pain. It looks fine. Yes, the control crown is painful. But I'm certain this creature will feel it really. When it sees how much more pain, thou be in. Susie, you want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. Do I apologize from earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Rouse at it. The crown loosened a little. Oh, completely missed. I'm gonna try again. We're making progress. We making progress. Making complete progress. One more time. One, you got zero XP and five dollars. Why, brilliant! Just brilliant! I knew you couldst do it. Thou great heroes, thou. South. Thou seest that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. But you... Luck be with you, heroes. Hey, there's Lancer. Father. Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's real strong, and where are they now? Um. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer, Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. 
for you, Sub Lancer. They care not for you. Your only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... he'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What, what the... You... you traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you... I'm the bad guy. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became became courage. How dare you come here, Lightner? You're supposed to use Rude Buster <laughs> to finish on him in the passage round. You, that left the shadows me stripped of me. Rouse tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is the world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can find out of the way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will live, you will not live. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. They came dual heal. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you reel him. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Susie became Red Buster. I'm gonna still keep using Rude Buster. For the night has disappeared. Oh, well. Oh. Right, okay. 
Oh dang, oh dang. I guess it kinda won't matter when we use the... I guess it kinda won't matter if we use the cake. We're not gonna be fighting Jevil. Oh dang, I oh, oh, he's down. He is down, he's down for the count. Keep fighting like this, then. We didn't get hurt too bad. Oh, say. Oh, say. We didn't get hurt that bad. Seems that. Enough is enough. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightners, I... Perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkners and lancer, lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I would, I too, would yearn for these days. Perhaps you, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come now, Susie. I'm glad we're starting, you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. But, uh, yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. <laughs> My apologies. I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Never better. You, you. Did I say you could get up? Chris. Oh, spare me the heroics. You, 
You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us back into obscurity? You can't even say? Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly... You honestly think you have any? To convince me not to kill you? Nah, but they might. <laughs> oh man. Lancer! Everyone! What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided that they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me? Now I'm the dad. You idiots. The Lightners are your enemies. Fools. I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. Yikes. I think someone needs to time out. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> you alright, Chris? Chris? Susie? Oh, you're right. Yeah. It'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie. I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... Susie, you were right. I just foolish to think we could actually soft everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, you might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh, see ya. Hey, Chris. Wait a second. Um, I... Look, I know you want to give a real... Goodbye to I mean, I'm all leaving her. I'm all for leaving, but you know, we could go back a sec. Go back a sec if you want. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Alright. Chris? Susie? You came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say goodbye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making puzzles we love. Life's got no tutorial, so try your best. Best, you're the best! Oh, honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. Be great, be work. Thank you, I could go back to being a coat hanger now. By the way, I can't seem to come I'm here, but there wasn't any interest. Even a little ball can say some, something like, thank you. Darn, darn horsey, so you have done us a big help. So you have done us a big help. Now all in pieces, you can live in pieces. 
You did it. You ousted the rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for contributions, unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. Wonderful work, eh? Mine, amigos. Oh, thou hast toppled the tyrant, freest our priest. Truly, if history shall not forget the tale of rules card and the three heroes. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. A kingdom in with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. It means thank you. Come to our ninth birthday. Birthday too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Happy looked at you proudly. Kiss. What's going on? I slept through everything. <laughs> what ho? What about us? We aren't going to be restored as kings? Ah, oh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. Us animals decide it's okay if the kings stay the kings stay in cages as well. But they'll have to put animal ears ears on and ears and noses. Miba Miba. What a celebration. This calls for a cake. And this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. What? I'll be honest, at first we if we weren't sure uh, who make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a little bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie, blue person his name I neglected to learn a long time ago. I thought you were all going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to stay by. Say bye, you know. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I didn't want to. But, um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes. I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. <laughs> Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea! But it's you guys. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll see, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Go back soon! There's always room in the town for a couple clowns. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe a truck to respect you. <laughs> Very funny. Mm. Beat it up, and last person to talk to before leaving. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just talk, walk to the right if we are. Susie, Chris, you gonna leave? Well, um, I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling under... Under, into your hat for a sec. I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, um, Chris, Susie, I. Uh, I hope I can see you again soon. Uh, Next time, I'll pick you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Uh, 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 um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Yeah, there's no save points after this, so... Uh, yeah, it was kind of, uh, kind of slugs. <laughs> Who's there? Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but if it feels like we stumbled into a, something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Oh, I love that. <laughs> what what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Uh huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get here? Hey, Chris, what, what just happened? Like, like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? If so, that was a really long dream. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Laffy's we can't find any chalk. I've seen several different theories about this part. And I could definitely agree that this is definitely representing the entire world of that we just ex this, this represents the dark world which we just which we what we were going through. So right there, that's I mean the checkerboard represents one of the areas. That cabinet may represent the tower. The checkerboard may represent Yeah. I've seen several different series saying that this game mentions that Asriel is actually alive, so I theorize so people theorize that you, you that Chris here used to play with Asriel in this area, so just thought it was interesting to point out a theory just to point out. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alf isn't no better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, right? This is 
school. Let's check out everything before we leave. Yeah, it's not much here. Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. But you can continue. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Ah, yes. Smell that. That's... This is... Yeah. It's Birdly. Chris, you survived. You survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is only 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am benevolent volunteer. If you turn it in, I turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I'm already... I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. And what is Timmy doing? What's... Gotta go calling. So Tim stubby. Hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. And, uh, yeah, that shape does look familiar, doesn't it? That does look like one of Gasser's followers. Oh, what the heck? I love reading books. Especially books upstairs. You should really read them. <laughs> you look through the window with the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working on a computer. Looks like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. You just trust the dog. Of course I trust the boy. Because I trust the good boy. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. The shop's so boring and nothing ever happens in this town. Mmm, I just wish something, something would make things up. Huh? I've got some. You got some to report? There's a dark hold under the school. Ah, uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job of the, for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should run away. Should just run away. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say. I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, 
I die. I literally die. <laughs> Noel, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece. She was a hot piece of work. <laughs> really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. It's kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel. Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh well, it's getting late. I guess I should better go. I've got homework. Oh? That's the crew project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. <laughs> He's not bad, Dad. Oh, really? <laughs> I digress when it comes to that. I'll kick his ass. I would hug you. <laughs> that guy deserves to be beating the crap out of. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Say yeah. Sorry. Did we actually? Well, jingle my, jingle my gosh darn bells. Good, looks like Christmas came early. <laughs> Chris, why are you here? <laughs> That's what I thought. She's a peach, huh? Fuzzy and sweet on the outside, and old outside nut on the inside. Oh, your dad? He's a real fruit himself, too. Which one? I don't know. Probably a hairy one, like a kiwi. <laughs> okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? Then what the hell are you here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought it was, it was a zoo or something? Come on. Yeah, I'm leaving now. I'm gonna view this some. This castle's white wizards. It's ritual to his healing chamber, but his blood is boiling for battle. Yeah, that looks like the guy from Groby's, huh? Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear. Patients can't hear it for here, but I personally enjoy it. Might as well. It's an obligatory hospital, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Link. Oh well. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming out to the window. They just closed the blinds. <laughs> Ah, the music. Let's go to town hall here. Hey, short stuff. Would you... Why would you possibly talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, and she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same bear from back in Snowden and Undertale. That's yeah, <laughs> so many returning characters that it almost. I love seeing these characters come back. Good lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. Do you need 
I need to see her. Please, try causing some tr terrible crisis. And yeah. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. <laughs> I understand. I hope, hope in time you may find the words you seek. Let the angel's power light your way. Gerson, re-owned historian, author, and teacher. Yes, the same Gorthin from Gerson from Waterfall. Yeah, he was that shopkeeper. Crystal, Crystal from Snowy Gemstone for a pound mother. Mutter, Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a carry Yes, Shiren, Shiren. From like, from Undertale, the fish one. Yeah, apparently she's dead. The karaoke microphone for a brave singer. It's actually kind of depressing how she's dead. I kind of wonder how she did die. And I think about it, good lord. There's as many returning characters as there are. There are also dead characters, and that's kind of depressing. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Hey there! Have you, haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays. It was after service. You and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen and then... You all stop coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would come, still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at a table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about Chris? Chris got the hot chocolate on the house, huh? You drank the hot chocolate. It tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. <laughs> so, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serve a drink with... <laughs> they suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. All the ice. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Yes, the Ice Wolf you saw as the background character. Or if you went to one of the upper, one of the upper places in Snowden. He was the one that was chucking. He was the one that was throwing ice. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Would you be interested in trying some, trying some of our many twenty-four, twenty-four, peso flavors? We've got normal cheese, ice. Gravy, double ice, peronis, and more. Stuff on down at Icy's Pizza. Yes. You know that character that was on the word search? In Snowden? When you looked at it? Yeah. The Junior Jumble? Yeah. They made a restaurant out of it in Deltarune. I'm glad they found a profitable business. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza. Uh, Pezza. We're in your number. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Yes, that's actually Burger Pants from... Hey, buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute? Uh, before I close my mind? Before I lose my mind? Do you know what Azzy's... You know when Azzy's coming home? 
You can't tell him, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around to him like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks, which as a matter of course, might not have ever actually happened. But, but one time, Mundai made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speed ticket. Hey, little buddy, what's up? No worries. Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the Ro Rogues Gallery. Blue ears. Soft serve obsessed. No concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior. Thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. <laughs> Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my co-workers were... Or would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, Be a team player. There's no I in Pezza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. <laughs> But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. You know, Sans did that and it... Oh man, that didn't work well for him. Of course I'm gonna remind you of the first... of the two videos I made on two special, special Sans fangirls. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Yes, Sans from Yes, Sans Undertale in Delta Room. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? That looks suspicious to grill beast, doesn't it? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Fortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain about the guy who runs it. So. Oh, you got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Why got anyone I should know better? Whoa there, Tiger. Can't just jump into a friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call whenever you feel like. You got Sansa's number. Office? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. <laughs> she opened the case and paid the small bills. That's then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Okay, our relationship is a, is a purely business, so I guess it's just let her do her thing. My mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended her, your mom last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate. Get kisses. So she's gonna lock her door to stop them, up you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Harsh, but fair. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you if you could come over. I live just next door. 
You know? Wow, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are you... What are you going to be doing? Oh, I'm going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But in the distance, you hear the truzel of robots. <laughs> Toby Fox, I love that you made that reference to Pyrus' theme song. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you the human that lives... It lives at the top of down. Wow. My mommy <laughs> told me told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Oh yeah, because you're made of dust. Knock knock knock. Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yes, that's what I'd theorize is monster kid. Yo, Chris, I survived Susie. You survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but, uh, I'd be careful. She almost tried to eat my face off. <laughs> like, one time, Snowy, Snowy and Jockey Tim were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into the officer into officer undyne's car then undyne came out smiling cracked her knuckles and totally wiped us at handball anyway susie sucks chris <laughs> oh you're lucky chris you got into you got the missed class with alfie it's not fair <laughs> if i skip class my dad never hear the end of it that's not even remotely funny. You know what's not even... You know what's not even close to... F what's even less funny? The, f the fact your dad totally... Totally... Disregarded you in Undertale. And you pretty much ran away. Because your mom died. <laughs> when you hear about his back... Hear about Snowdrake's backstory in Undertale, it's kind of morbid. Oh, Chris. You're okay. I was really worried that you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need if you need anything. Oh, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. <laughs> he always uh, he he always asks how. How oh, you're doing in school? Then he gives me a about quit of them. Actually, actually, that he always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he he likes if he, he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Chris, even though you never got the chalk. You deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of, of the symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. <laughs> It's got every episode in all 28 seconds. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the se since the oh man, oh man, oh man. Huh? You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Monster. Oh, the saucer of milk. It's for a kitty Mew Mew. You mean that Mew Mew? You mean that Mew Mew? <laughs> yeah, you did that Mew Mew? She's the per... Uh, what does that look like? Well, she's never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think... 
Okay, there's a cat. My cat. Yeah, I think they just made a reference to Mew Mew Kissy Kitty, which you... Which you remember that in, in Undertale, she was obsessed over it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, you can see. That's Caddy's parents. It's bratty. Chrissy, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Neighbor. Ah, that chick next door kid drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family's like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hair nut, girl. You know, for like your whole body. Remember that one time you wanted to hang out? That was big kids? <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course. Just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Ah, uh, that's no way to talk to your, talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking. But like, remember that time I had my play Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone, and uh, like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like every single day that week. <laughs> oh man, knock knock knock. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Yes, that's Naps of Luke's house. The Flower King. Ah, Asgore. <laughs> dum de dum Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like... Or if you don't like hugs like that. That's... Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. I can... You can help yourself to anything you like. I messed up room. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to something you want. You put the egg you were carrying inside, too. There are two eggs inside the fridge. Oh, well. Yeah, I kind of noticed the fact that I think that's a reference to Flowey, and all these others are pretty much just references to uh, the six human souls. I believe that's what that's referencing. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the banquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Oh, man. I don't know how well this game looks. Nothing better than hanging up the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. Yes, with an onion song. <laughs> hey there, notice you were here. It's me, you know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular, I just don't have any friends. But it's okay, you hear? Because you're, because you're here, you hear? You'll be my friend. 
I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy. I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Chris, that's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Chris, can you give me a name? Azrael too. Onion. As a reference to Onion Song. Which was his name in Undertale. Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't... I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. It feels like it's shaped like me. It feels like it smells like me. Wait. What was the name? Omnium? Yeah. Thanks for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Christmas? That's your name, right? <laughs> I'll need to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Okay! Yeah, it's just... I mean, this is just us looking around this town, because why not? Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you. And Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. Yeah, I forgot my house key again, and sorry, Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Oh, Chris, did you want to talk to me about something? Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I didn't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, this is something wrong. Something wrong? Why do you have to go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. I've got to say anything. Something up? Susie, that's right. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Mm. Um, Chris, can I ask something if that's okay? Sus Susie, I'm kind of curious. Curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone, so Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Uh, she turned out nice in the end, so... What? She's a, a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? Deep down inside she is, that's for sure. I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, shh. This isn't another trick, is it, Chris? No, I'm not joking. She went through her entire redemption arc and everything. <laughs> like when you put a ketchup on your eyes. You're serious, you're totally serious. Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I will die too. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Oh wait, we didn't talk to her parents. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug? Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not, in a, I'm not a, even actually your aunt. Oh my god, I, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. These are the parents of... 
don't know who Candy and Braddy are if you've been following the series, which I haven't exactly interacted with her in Undertale. Well, apparently. At MTT Resort, they were in the back alley selling crap. <laughs> apparently. Oh my god, Azrael, like, what a cutie pie. <laughs> Do you remember when him and me went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch ball all over him, and I danced appropriately in front of your mom. <laughs> oh boy, that didn't turn out well, did it? And I got arrested for parking in the parking lot, making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear hey, the ukulele, and she said no. And then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from the from planet hell. I think that might be a reference to Doom, which hell is a planet in Doom. <laughs> what the heck, Chrissy? <laughs> Chrissy, that's so cute. Neighbors, like what green girl next door? Braddy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my God, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like the other day, I went to see Cat Patter Patters too, and the only other person in the theater was her. <laughs> then I went to QC's in order to order a cat food scene, and she was. Already drinking one. See such a copycat, copycatosaurus, copycat had a dial. I don't know. She sucks. <laughs> and then, hey neighbor, neighbor, when's your brother Doug coming by? <laughs> Gonna come by. <laughs> my girls, my girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. It's wrong, Douglas. You don't like any frozen cat food? <laughs> well, he's an anthropomorphic goat person. He's not an anthropomorphic cat person. It's your mom's van. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, that it will cool when you wake. But do not eat it all, all this time, alright? The only other character we're gonna interact with. Chris, that is it, honey? Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were gone. You asked when your horns were gonna grow in? So we bought a he headband for the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Oh, Chris? Flowers? Your mother? How sweet. These are from... These are from him. Are they not? They're... Well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Remember when that video game you and Astro used to play it was called Super Smash? <laughs> uh, Super Smash Brothers. Yes, a reference to Super Smash Brothers. That may be a reference to the fact Sans is in Smash. Toby Fox predicted it, guys. He totally predicted it. <laughs> when he was very little, he loved the green lizard from it. Yoshi, from the head. Even at a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just sl just kept crying ever since. He's hated that book. <laughs> Hook about green eggs. Chris, what is it, honey? Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite... You do not look quite yourself. 
Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, I love this game. Uh, just like an Undertale, this is A class writing. There's nothing else to do. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? You decided to go to bed. Thanks calmly, exhales. Ah, man. I know no one's gonna watch this video anyways, so... I don't know, it's kinda... I don't know what's... No one's been watching my Delta Room videos at all. <laughs> They've been barely racking in views. It's the point of making this series. Yeah, man. Oh man, isn't that kind of a creepy ending? Yeah, you can move the soul here. You know it's not moving it. Ah yes. Yeah, this kind of crashed itself. I know this episode is a little longer than the other Delta Room videos, but I think it's fine. I have made one hour videos in the past, right? This is fine. Uh, I'm at like and subscribe. I'm out.